I had occasion to speak to people across Connecticut, as I know my colleague, the presiding officer, has done over the past 10 days. And he and I have to talk about how Connecticut is affected and about the individuals there who have borne the burden of this shutdown. And as in Oregon and California and Maryland, there are real life stories of people who have been affected, not just temporarily, but lastingly and enduringly. I was joined by young men like Micah Wellington Conus and Jordan Massa, Michael Scavetta, David Alexander, veterans of the most recent conflict in Afghanistan, and John Hollis and Ed Detour, and Lester Yarmel, Richard Kennedy, Mel Houston, Lucian Miles, who have fought in previous wars. As a matter of fact, Michael Wellitakonis has recently returned from Walter Reed, where he had to undergo the latest round of surgery to his arm, which was severely wounded in Afghanistan in combat there. And that wound led him to receive the Purple Heart. He was there with his wife, Camilla, and his three children to talk to me about his fear that he will be denied benefits and compensation that he is due, he deserves and needs the disability claim that he may apply for. And of course, Jordan Massa, also a Purple Heart recipient as a result of a wound that he likewise received in combat, he waited for two years to receive approval of his disability claim only to learn on October 1 that he will very likely have to wait longer because of the VA furloughing so many of its employees. And others who came to this meeting, Mike Chavetta from Weathersfield, a veteran who served as an Air Force military police unit deployed to Afghanistan, who needs the GI Bill which he credits as reconnecting him to a civil society after his return. And he has applied for a higher disability rating with the Department of Veterans Affairs based on his continued experience of post-traumatic stress. Jake Jamaskowitz in Rocky Hill, who has served not only in the Army and in Operation Dory Freedom, but on his return now in a nonprofit organization assisting other veterans. 30% of his paycheck comes from the VA's vocational re rehabilitation program, and he receives disability payments. These payments, compensation, claims, will run out at the end of October, and the delays are present even now, discouraging and intimidating these brave combat veterans who have endured so much for our nation, the nation that now has shut down these services because of a small fringe of extremist ideologues in one house of this Congress, one branch of this government that has succeeded in paralyzing the process.